Question, 1, when taking a freeway exit, you should use your turn signal, a, 3 seconds before exiting, about 200 feet. b, 5 seconds before exiting, about 400 feet. c, 8 seconds before exiting, about 600 feet. Correct answer, b, 5 seconds before exiting, about 400 feet. When driving in the proper lane, signal 5 seconds, approximately 400 feet, before you exit. Signaling 5 seconds before exiting gives other drivers ample time to react. Question, 2, who can ask about your immigration status in California? A. Federal law enforcement officers. B. State law enforcement officers. C. Local law enforcement officers. Correct answer, A. Federal law enforcement officers. Only federal law enforcement officers can ask about your immigration status in California. Question, 3, what is the common rule regarding parking duration at a green painted curb? A. There is no time limit for parking. B. Parking is allowed only during specific hours. C. Parking is allowed for a limited time. Correct answer, C. Parking is allowed for a limited time. At a green painted curb, parking is allowed for a limited time, typically indicated by signs or markings. It is important for drivers to adhere to the posted time limit to avoid fines or towing. Question, 4, what effect does tailgating have on vehicle safety? A, it increases the vehicle's safety distance. B, it decreases the vehicle's safety distance. C, it has no effect on safety. Correct answer, B, it decreases the vehicle's safety distance. Tailgating decreases a vehicle's safety distance, increasing the risk of rear-end collisions and reducing the driver's ability to react to sudden changes in traffic conditions. Question, 5, why is it important for drivers to wait for the green light before making a right turn against a red arrow? A, to avoid causing traffic congestion. B, to prevent accidents and ensure intersection safety. C. To save time and expedite the flow of traffic. Correct answer, B. To prevent accidents and ensure intersection safety. It is important for drivers to wait for the green light before making a right turn against a red arrow to prevent accidents and ensure intersection safety, prioritizing the well-being of all road users. Question, 6. What is the recommended hand position for one hand steering when backing up? A. 3 o'clock position. B. 12 o'clock position. C. 9 o'clock position. Correct answer, B. 12 o'clock position. When backing up to see where you are going behind you, it's recommended to place your hand at the 12 o'clock position on the steering wheel. This allows for easier control and adjustment of the vehicle's direction while maintaining visibility of the surroundings. Question, 7, where should drivers complete their right turn after entering the intersection? A, in the left lane. B, in any available lane. C, in the right lane. Correct answer, C, in the right lane. Drivers should complete their right turn in the right lane after entering the intersection, maintaining proper lane discipline and avoiding turning wide into another lane. Question, 8, where are the blind spots typically located on most vehicles? A, directly in front and behind the vehicle. B, at the sides, slightly ahead of the driver. C, at the sides, slightly behind the driver. Correct answer, C at the sides, slightly behind the driver. For most vehicles, the blind spots are at the sides, slightly behind the driver. Question, 9, what can happen if you are not wearing a seatbelt in a collision? A, you will be thrown out of the vehicle. B, you will be pushed back and forth across the seat. C, you will be crushed by the airbag. Correct answer, B, you will be pushed back and forth across the seat. If you are struck from the side, the impact could push you back and forth across the seat. Question, 10. What should drivers do after completing a right turn? A. Immediately switch to the left lane. B. Continue driving in the right lane. 
C. Merge into the bike lane to continue driving. Correct answer, B. Continue driving in the right lane. After completing a right turn, drivers should continue driving in the right lane unless another lane change is necessary, maintaining the flow of traffic and following road rules. Question 11. What is the common precautionary measure in both extreme heat and cold? A. Watching the temperature gauge. B. Driving at high speeds. C. Using the air conditioner. Correct answer, A. Watching the temperature gauge. In both extreme heat and cold, it's essential to watch the temperature gauge to ensure the engine operates within a safe temperature range. Question 12. When is it necessary to use your vehicle's high beam headlights? A. In urban areas with well lit streets. B. On open highways or in rural areas without other traffic. C. When there is oncoming traffic. Correct answer. B. On open highways or in rural areas without other traffic. Use your high beam headlights when possible. This includes an open country or dark city streets. Question 13. Under what circumstance can drivers drive in a bike lane when preparing for a right turn? A. Always, regardless of distance from the turn. B. Within 500 feet from the turn. C. Within 200 feet from the turn. Correct answer, C. Within 200 feet from the turn. Drivers can drive in a bike lane within 200 feet from the turn when preparing for a right turn, ensuring they can safely position themselves for the maneuver. Question 14. Which of the following statements about using headlights is false? A. High beams are used when traveling behind other vehicles. B. Low beams are used when traveling in fog, rain, or snow. C. Low beams are used in city driving and driving in traffic on roadways. Correct answer. A. High beams are used when traveling behind other vehicles. Low beams are used when traveling behind other vehicles or when another vehicle is approaching. High beams should be used in open country driving when there is no traffic in sight. High beams help a motorist see farther ahead and peripherally or at a wider angle. Question 15. There is no crosswalk and you see a pedestrian crossing your lane ahead. You should a. Make eye contact and then pass him, her. b. Slow down as you pass him, her. c. Stop and let him, her finish crossing the street. Correct answer. c. Stop and let him, her finish crossing the street. Pedestrians have the right of way in marked or unmarked crosswalks. If there is a limit line before the crosswalk, stop at the limit line and allow pedestrians to cross the street. Question. 16. When you pass a section of road, where construction is underway, you should a, slow down to watch the workers. b. Reduce the distance to the car in front. c. Carefully drive this section, and don't be curious. Correct answer. c. Carefully drive this section, and don't be curious. Highway construction can take place at night. Reduce your speed in highway construction zones. Question. 17. Large electronic flashing arrow panels may be used in work zones day and night to a. Guide drivers into certain traffic lanes. b. Guide drivers into certain parking zones. c. Divert drivers into work zones. Correct answer. Guide drivers into certain traffic lanes. Large electronic flashing arrow panels are not used to guide drivers into certain parking areas. These panels are used to guide drivers into specific traffic lanes so they can safely navigate through or around work zones. A guide sign indicating a parking area features the word, parking, with an arrow directing drivers to the parking area. Question 18. Which of the following options best describes the symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning? A. Tiredness, nausea, skin rash, chest pain. B. Tiredness, dizziness, nausea, Headache. C. Tiredness, dizziness, headache, chest pain. Correct answer. B. Tiredness, dizziness, nausea, headache. Never start your vehicle inside the garage with the door closed. Symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning include tiredness, yawning, 
dizziness, nausea, headache, ringing in the ears. Question 19. When must you pull into a turnout and allow cars behind you to pass? A. When you are pulling a trailer. B. When you are being tailgate. C. When there are five or more vehicles following you. Correct answer. C. When there are five or more vehicles following you. You must use a turnout area or lane to let other vehicles pass when you are driving slowly on a two-lane road, where passing is unsafe, and there are five or more vehicles following you. Question 20. If a road has three lanes, which lane is considered the slow lane? A. The number one lane. B. The number two lane. C. The number three lane. Correct answer. C. The number three lane. Traffic lanes are often referred to by number. The left, or fast, lane is called the number one lane. The lane to the right of the number one lane is called the number two lane. Then the number three lane. Tips for choosing a lane. Use the left lane to pass or turn left. Use the right lane to enter or exit traffic. And there you have it, folks, the top 20 toughest California DMV written test questions. Remember, practice makes perfect. Review these questions, take your time, and don't get discouraged. You've got this. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family who are also renewing their licenses. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and information for seniors. We believe in you. Drive safe and enjoy your golden years.